So here we are in the center of Lake Forest College's campus. Uh, and this is the star of the show. Uh, this is uh, the cardinal flower. The cardinal flower is a native flower. The scientific name is Lobelia cardinalis, L-O-B-E-L-I-A. New word, C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L-I-S. Uh, it's in the camp and in Lake City. We will talk a lot about different flower families, angiosperm families, uh, during the semester. Uh, one thing to notice about Lobelia cardinalis is dog. The petals are bright red, kind of shocking scarlet. Uh, but you also notice that there are three petals uh, hanging down low, and there are two petals, which are a little bit harder to see, that uh, are behind. So this is what we call a bilaterally symmetrical flower. Uh, one of the things you'll be looking at with different flowers is whether they're radially symmetrical. That is, you can put a mirror in the center and get a reflection back of the flower in more than one plane, or whether you can do it in one and only one plane. Radially symmetrical means you can do it in two or more planes. Bilaterally symmetrical means one plane. The way to think about this is you're bilaterally symmetrical. Animals, most of them, other than sea urchins uh, and sea stars, uh, are bilaterally symmetrical. We have one plane that goes through our center that uh, reflects back and recreates itself. Any other mirror we put anywhere else uh, on our bodies does not recreate uh, our body. The Lobelia cardinalis is bilaterally symmetrical. There's only one plane through the center of the flower that will reflect the full flower back on itself. The other thing to notice that's very interesting in this flower is uh, you have five red petals. There are five green sepals that are very long and filamentous, but you also have this other organ that comes out of the center that's not a petal, but is also red, and that's what's called a staminal tube. So the stamens are all aggregated together to form a tube, and the style grows through the tube, and the stigma sticks out the top. So it has a number of very interesting characteristics uh, that differentiate it from uh, other plants that we'll be learning. Other things you want to do when you first learn a plant and when you learn a plant family is to determine how it grows. Uh, we will be talking mostly about herbaceous plants during the uh, first half of the semester. Those are plants that do not produce wood uh, and do not persist above ground over the winter. Uh, and that's what this is. It's a herbaceous plant. Uh, it also has leaves, of course. Uh, leaves look more like each other than flowers tend to. So when we have herbaceous plants with flowers, we tend to concentrate on the flowers. But you do want to note things like, uh, are the leaves arranged on the stem opposite each other, where two leaves come out at the same spot on the stem? Or are they alternate, where wherever one leaf comes out, you don't see another leaf? And these leaves are alternate. That's a characteristic of uh, Lobelia cardinalis. It's also a characteristic of the Campanulaceae. And another thing you want to look at when you look at leaves, you want to look at their general shape, and you want to look at their margins to see whether there's teeth on the margins. And you can see that there are teeth on the margins of this particular plant. Every plant, in fact, every species, I should say, has its own particular leaf venation patterns on the undersides of the leaves, but they're very hard to explain and quantify, uh, so we generally don't identify plants by those venation patterns, but sometimes uh, it's, it's useful. Uh, Lobelia cardinalis is a native plant to the greater Chicago region. It is a native plant to eastern North America. It tends to be found in uh, wet, open, areas, savannas, and also wet woodlands. Uh, and it's one of the most striking plants that we have in the greater Chicago area. 